Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I'm the IT Geek. Welcome back to another video. It's, it's Nerdio Wednesday. Um, if you saw my, my LinkedIn post uh, last week, I kind of dubbed this now Nerdio Wednesday for, for me, for I Am IT Geek and my sort of video content, my YouTube content. Every Wednesday is going to be a new video on, on some sort of Nerdio uh, service or feature, and I'll just be kind of going through um, the, the sort of practical demo element. It's going to be a bit different from my, my other content. At the moment, I'm doing Azure Arc, um, which I'm doing kind of um, theory based and then a demo. This is all demo based. Um, now, again, I've, I've always been quite close to Nerdio from, from, you know, from its inception and just because it was linked to AVD um, and obviously a lot of my, my sort of background and my technical kind of skills are around AVD, VDI, Windows 365 and, and so on. That's what my MVP is in as well. Um, so essentially what, what I started doing was I thought, you know what, let's just actually go on to Nerdio documentation, the knowledge base, and just start working through some of these 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 um, guides and, and following them and showing the capabilities of uh, Nerdio. Now, uh, we've done user interface. I've kind of looked at directory and identity management. Now I thought I'm going to move on to desktop images. Now, this is one of the most powerful things around um, Nerdio, especially when it comes to automating that whole lifecycle process of the, uh, the the image management. Traditionally, it's been quite manual um, within Azure and within ABD and, and with it, Nerdio is going to take all that away. So we're kind of going to go through that whole process, but from the start, so we'll probably have multiple videos on desktop images because on desktop management, because as you can see, there's loads to it. There's another 17 articles here that we need to kind of, kind of work through and work through the practicalities of it. So we are going to be kind of staying on desktop images for a few weeks now. Um, so I mean, my, we're going to do it from scratch. So we're going to, you know, import an actual image from scratch in my demo. So this is my um, my Nerdio uh, kind of Nerdio manager for enterprise uh, demo tenant that I've got within my IMIT Geek tenant. I'm using the new AI because it's, it's pretty decent. Um, I do like dark mode as well, and it's desktop images. Now I, I uh, but you know, I don't have any images that I've got here. So let's just let's just assume we're starting from scratch with this, right? We've got a couple of different options, both of which I'll be going through. Um, but at the moment for today's demo, I'm just going to go and add from the library. So when we add from the library, it opens up obviously another sort of little image. And this is going to, another window. So we're going to add our desktop image. So let's give it a name. Um, so we'll just go IT Geek hyphen uh, Golden Image hyphen zero one. Let's go with that, nice and easy. Give it a description. I am IT Geek. Demo image. Uh, it's putting the network that we want to use it with. Um, so again, depending on uh, wh where you want to where you want to put the actual virtual machine, I'm going to put it in my uh, my um, IT my ITV net zero two. That's my default one. So again, now we know wh which image do we want from. And remember, we're doing this from the Azure Image Library, which is obviously um, kind of the the you're doing it from Azure, so it's not your own VM, one of your own VMs. So obviously we've got a lot of different options here. Um, this is showing us all the all the. Um, if we click on, if I click on the drop down here. If we've got all desktop images, it shows us all the available Azure Marketplace images. Um, so I'm I'm just going to stick with a, a Windows 11. I want to do a multi session. So Windows 11, AVD Gen 2 multi session. Um, again, but if we want apps, um, we can do the app one. So let's do it with the apps. Yeah, let's do it with the with the M365 apps. So that's going to be our Azure image that we're going to use, right? So hopefully that'll come with 24H2 fully patched. Now VM size, again, as you can specify. So this isn't really, you know, you can still deploy this image to a different VM size if you want it. So I'm, I'm just going to, for the purposes of, um, I'm just going to go for a, a really small VM because, you know, it's only a demo and I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to try keep my cost down, right? We've got to, got to think about the pennies. Um, so let's try to stick on all, see if it brings up the, ideally I want the B. The burstable ones, because they're normally cheaper. Here we go, just walk past it. So let's stick with, um, we'll do two C, two, two compute and, and four gigabyte of RAM. Uh, disk, again, just, just specify what uh, what disk you want to put on this image, what resource group. I'm going to put it in my O2, um, O2 one there. Um, security type, we can specify what you want. I'm going to stick with standard. Uh, I mean, that's just because of the, the uh, what's available to me. Now, with this image, you want to join it to AD. I do not. Um, and I think when, when you're creating an image, generally I tend not to um, join it to AD. And, and it's part, it part of the ABD deployment process, right? You can, you can do it, if you, especially if you have hybrid. Um, but, you know, you might be working with, with Entre join. So just, I, I just tend to not join it to AD. Uh, uh, again, do you want to create an image object or not? 
So you create this up image in VMs only, but do not create the image object. You'll need to create the image object by clicking power off and set image. So we want to do the set as image button after the VMs created, but before this desktop image can be used. Because obviously, let's just imagine we want to go in there, deploy some applications. So that's what we're going to be assuming that we want to go there. We create it, we log on to it, we create those, um, uh, you know, we, we update it with any sort of uh, applications or anything. And then we want to capture that image, prep it and capture that image, right? Um, so again, you can, you can untick that, uh, you use special creation, skipping image creation allows for changes to be made before the VM to be conveyed to an image. Um, so if we were to click that, then it would obviously create that image. So I'll tell you what, I don't actually want to, for the purpose of a demo, I'm not going to do any updates to it. So let's just, when we want to do the next version, we'll do some updates to it then. Uh, do you want to skip removal of local profiles? I would say not. So again, during the image creation process, Nerdy Manager is going to remove all local user profiles. This is going to increase, increase the likelihood of that sysprep success, right? Um, so when it comes to time zone, I'm going to leave it in, in where I am, which is Sydney. Um, remove FS Logics apps. Yes, we want to leave that. Enable app client v service if you want, if you need to, you know, if you want uh, app v. Optimize disk type when desktop image is stopped. Do you want to provide credentials for local administrator user? Let's just say we do, right? So I'm going to put in a local admin user so I can log into this at some point if I need to. Um, let's put in the details. So again, we've got do you want to disable local account after provisioning or do you want to generate around a password? I'm going to leave both of those. Uh, now, application management. Do we want to, you know, if we've got, uh, if we're using use, you know, the, the unified application management we want to install any applications from there i'm going to leave that turned off any tags we want to apply if not let's go to okay and this will then start deploying that virtual machine for our image so let that create um, and we'll come back to this when it's done so i just actually want to quickly show some of the details of what this is actually doing so we can see here it's um these are some of the tasks it's doing in the background so it's, it's, it's running sort of commands to, to Azure from the app. Um, so it's doing the set API context. It's getting the image from the marketplace. It's creating that network interface for the VM. And then it's actually starting to create. So that's complete. And now it's kind of installing that time zone uh, redirection extension. Um, so before, once this is finished, we'll come back and have a look at all the sort of tasks it completes in the back end, just so you can get an idea of what it's actually doing when it's creating this. Uh, when it's creating this image. So um, we'll come back shortly. Okay, welcome back. That has successfully completed after a, a couple of restart modes. Um, let's just go into the details now. Look, we got to the stage where it was uninstalling the title, is installing the time redirection. Had an error when it got to installing empty DSC extensions. So I looked through the logs, had a look through the error. Couldn't really work out why it was doing what it was doing, why it was erring. So I just thought, you know what, I'll give it a restart. I'll restart the, you get the option to restart the, the deployment. So I restarted it. And then again, it goes, restarts and you know, completes all the get image, get the, you know, anything it's already created. It just says already created on it like it does there. And this time it actually went and it installed the DSC image and it was able to remove it successfully. So this called must like give it a bit of a kick. And then it got to uninstall an agent from VM and this errored again. Again, I reviewed the, the sort of errors and stuff like that. Couldn't really work out why it was failing. Um, so then I decided, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do a restart again. So thinking it'll do the same thing. Oh, sorry, it'd, it'd correct itself. It didn't. At this point, I kind of looked into it a bit more and I decided I was gonna remove the uh, manually. So jumped, logged onto the VM in Azure and I actually uninstalled the agent manually. And then they was able to complete, restart it and was able to complete then. So um, with this being the community version of Nerdy, I don't really have any support on it. So I just said, you know what, I'll try and work through it. I need to work through it. So we've got this image created. We now actually want to do power off and set as image because we want to have this as our golden image. So do we want to set this as image? Um, obviously we do. Do we want to run any scripts? You can turn that on and run any scripts before. Do we want to do any application management? You can, you can do that as well if you want. Don't want to do it on a schedule, want to do it straight away. Uh, do you want to refresh your image from the marketplace? We don't, but you can turn that on. It does give you a warning around it. It's going to redeploy everything. We'll leave it as security it's type standard because nothing else is, is, is all grayed out for me. Um, from a geographic distribution perspective, do we want to put it in an Azure Compute Gallery? If you do want to do that, you can enable it. Do want to, I would, I, with this backup piece here, you know, selecting this option will retain the existing image as a standalone object and not overwrite it with the new one. So it depends on what your image management process is going to be moving forward. I'm going to leave it unticked. 
I don't want to enable that via client service. I do want to skip removal. So, so I don't want to skip removal. I'm going to leave a desktop image. Uh, do we want to leave a desktop VM image running? We don't, so we'll just, just leave it on TikTok as well. So then we run now, and that is going to start capturing the image, essentially. So let's capture that image, let that complete, and then we'll come back. Okay, we are back, and that is, that is completed the task now of powering off and setting the image. Let's go to detail, see what I was doing. It so again, sets the API context, does the log parameters, uh, prepares to remove the old image, does get image and checks and stops the image VM, cleans up any temp resources, copies the template VM disk, it creates a new interface, uh, already created the VM, and the temp VM gets the image, gets the associated image versions, and it waits for the Azure VM client to be ready, removes any temp users, remove room with users extension, starts a sys prep, waits for that to complete, then it creates the image from the VM, collects the VM information, tags resources, then deletes a virtual machine. So that VM now, if we look here, oh, if we just go to virtual machines, uh, we just refresh that. Technically that VM should not be there. Well, it says it's deleted it, let's see. Delete virtual machine. So it completed it. Delete the uh, network interface is complete. Delete the disk is complete. And it com uh, creates a new custom image and updates the VM image tags. So I just think that should not be there. No, we just want the want this view again. I would expect not to see that VM there because it just says it's tidied it up. However, we want to do an update later on. So we're going to leave that there. But for all intents and purposes, this demo is done. So what I'm going to do in the next video um, is um, so essentially in this video, obviously, I've showed how to create a custom image from the from the Azure Marketplace. Um, and in the next video, I'm actually going to just prove that my image works will deploy. Um, well, sorry, in a, in a future video, not maybe not next week, but the week after, I'm going to deploy it to a host pool. However, and I want to do some stuff with scripted actions to my image in the next video. Um, again, it's it's just all part of the sort of uh, knowledge base and all that sort of stuff. We've done quite a bit from the knowledge base. Also, what I didn't actually say, um, to quickly share my screen again, is obviously I had these issues with, uh, I had the issue with the, um, we know where the, the, I had to get rid of the agent. And um, there's actually a, a knowledge base around that as well. So desktop images, manual install, AVD agent. So this is a whole rundown of the knowledge base as well. So really good uh, that I didn't really see that at the time, but um, I kind of I kind of worked out to do it. I just looked at, I found some more information around it and I was able to do that. Um, so that's it for today's Nerdio Wednesday. Uh, there's another video coming next week. I said we're going to do some stuff with scripted actions with desktop images next week. Uh, I've got loads of other content on my YouTube channel. You know, I'm doing some as your Axel for the moment. Um, I also do uh, Microsoft certification um, sort of content. So I'll put a link to and You can become a member and get access to all that. So I'll put a link down in the description. Obviously, anyone interested in doing Microsoft certifications, I've got Azure Fundamentals, Microsoft Fundamentals. You know, I've got some associate stuff there on AZ140, the, the AVD one, as well as some security stuff on there. Make sure you join. If you're not subscribed, no, why not? Get, get subscribed. And I do, you know, I'm trying to grow my channel. Um, but that'll be it. So that is it for Nerdio Wednesday. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, goodbye.